life is gonna throw balls at you. you know, things, setbacks, failure, negativity, loss of will, a lot of these things, self-doubt, all these things are gonna happen throughout your life. And if you can push through, like fight it, all these things because you're mentally tough, that's how you're gonna be able to achieve greatness. Anything, everything you do is not only in sports. Like Hello everyone, this is Inspire Tuesday number 112. Because our team at Icon de Nacena Belize that's starting the day motivated and inspired sets up the rest of the day for success. We bring quotes to our morning huddles and it has been so positive to our team that we decided to share it with you and hope to motivate and inspire you as well. Today the topic is achieve greatness. So many people say they want to achieve greatness and we know it's possible. But to achieve greatness is not so simple. On the contrary, it is a full-time job and you are on the clock all walking hours of your day. So I have in here three tips to help our team and you to achieve greatness. I'll talk about two tips, bring one quote, and then one more tip. Enjoy! Tip number one is be obsessed. So everyone that is great, they are extremely dedicated for what they do. I'll give you here an example or a few examples of you know, sports people because they're celebrity and we all know who they are. So you most likely have heard of Arnold Schwarzenegger. So he won seven time Mr. Olympia. You know, do you rise you for bodybuilding, right? You guys have seen his body, you've seen his movies and you know who he is. Do you really think he was just going for a regular workout? He was extremely obsessed. Like, you know, he is very built, right? This is why he won all this time. And I know about, because I've read about Michael Phelps, the, you know, that won all the Olympic medals for swimming. And what he did is every swimmer, like all of them that go to the Olympic games, they have a specific training. It's very intense and they do it once a day. So Michael Phelps decided to do it twice a day. So his coach and a lot of people said, told him that there was, it was not humanly possible to do that. He was gonna like be burned out, like his body wouldn't be able to take it. And guess what, not only he took it, he became great. So that's the same thing in anything that you work for. If you're looking for greatness, you gotta be obsessed and do what it takes. And uh, you know, the main thing is to be perseverant and be determined. And you gotta see also all the way towards the end where you're trying to achieve and go all in. Go for it, obsessed. And you're gonna see how you will also be great. That's tip number one. Tip number two is work on mental toughness. So mental toughness is like, it comes in pretty much number one in order for you to achieve greatness. Really because you're not gonna be able to push through and even take your body to do like, for example, just how I mentioned Michael Phelps that was doing the workout twice. He won't be able to do it and push his body if his mental toughness, if he doesn't have mental strength. It's so important because life is gonna throw balls on you. You know, things, setbacks, failure, negativity, loss of will, a lot of these things, self-doubt, all these things are gonna happen throughout your life. And if you can push through, like fight it, all these things because you're mentally tough, that's how you're gonna be able to achieve greatness. Anything, everything you do is not only in sports, like even to be, to be a great parent, you know, sometimes things happen, like a kid can get sick or, you, you know, someone lose their spouse, unfortunately, or anything can happen in order for the person to keep going and keep pushing so she can take care of the family or he can take care of his family. You know, even if he lost his wife, the way to do it is literally with mental toughness because it is hard, you know, and being great is hard, but it, it requires mental toughness. And a lot of people, how do they do it? Some people, they do meditation, prayers, whatever it is, like, you know, surround yourself with positive, whatever it is that gets you stronger, go ahead and do it because you're gonna need a lot of mental strength in order to achieve greatness. That's a great tip, tip number two. A quote from Dorothy Hyde, 
Greatness is not measured by what a man or woman accomplishes, but by the opposition he or she has overcome to reach his goals. Tip number three is practice as much as you can. Okay, they say that it takes 10,000 hours to become proficient on something. I mean, how does this 10,000 hours come? You know, it takes a lot of work, right? You need to put in the effort to get there. And yes, a lot of people say that, okay, that person is talented. That one is just smart or that person is just really good in basketball and this is why he was born like that. You know, that's not true. I agree that there's some kind of talent in there. For example, Michael Jordan, of course, he was tall, built, ran like he, you know, his body was built for sport. However, that by itself wouldn't do it because how many people do you know that are tall and built? Why did they all become the best basketball player in the world? It's not how it is. Michael Jordan, he did put a lot. He was the first one in the basketball court and the last one to leave. A lot of effort, a lot of time. It's not, there's not such a thing as you're talented and that's it. Greatness, of course, we all are talented in something. So if you use that talent and put in the effort on this, yes, you're way ahead of the game. Instead of going and trying to work on your weaknesses, like find something you're strong at, that you're talented at, and put a lot of effort, a lot of hours in practice and practice, and you'll see that's how you're going to become great. It's not only by having talent, okay? And it's not only effort. It goes together, but practice is a big deal. Everyone that became great practice. You want to learn more, you're going to get like, you know, if it is, for example, running a business, got to read more about it, got to understand how it works. It takes a lot, you know, get really involved into that. Same thing as becoming a dentist. Like, you know, the more you practice, the more you know, and the better you become, of course. This is just how it is. Practice, practice, practice. So, I hope you guys like the topic and the quote today, and I'd love to hear from me, from you. <laughs> what are you obsessed about? Leave me a comment below, and if there's any topic you'd like me to talk about, go ahead and send me in a DM or write me a comment below, however you want to do it. I'm loving to receive all these DMs. Keep sending them. I love. Thank you so much for being part of this community. And if you haven't done yet, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our pages on Instagram and Facebook at Icon Dental Center for more Spire Tuesdays. I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.